Good day, everybody. My name is James McCanny, and today I want to talk to you about making possible the impossible. What if you got up in the morning and you went to turn on the light switch and there was no electricity? You went to the bathroom to wash your face and take a shower and there was no water. What if your kids had no water to drink? What if you went to the kitchen and there was no food in the refrigerator or in the cupboards? This is the reality for 50% of the people in the world today. But what if I told you there are solutions, there are real solutions that have come about in the last few years. This is a list of the 10 top problems in the world today. In the very first two, in this order, are energy and water. A number of years ago, I set about on my own to see if I could solve these issues. But what I realized is that water needs energy. Any form of water that you find needs energy to harvest, to deliver. But what if you could take and extract water from the air? What if you could very efficiently extract energy from the air? And you could do this literally any place on the planet without installing infrastructure, without installing piping and uh, sewer or electrical grids and wires? What if you could just put something there, a unit, and it would run autonomously providing electricity and water, and that would then in turn provide uh, the ability to have greenhouses or fields with drip irrigation so people could have food? And one by one, if you go down this list, by solving the first two problems, you could solve the rest of them. This was my vision. But it came back to the fact that we had to solve the energy issue first. Burning high energy content fuels like coal, nuclear, or natural gas, we just can't keep doing this. We cannot keep on this path. Here's a picture of a coal train moving in both directions, one train leaving full, one train returning empty all day long across this country. And coal is our main source of energy right now. We're burning clean coal. It's much better than before, but we just can't keep doing this forever. The projections on coal, nuclear, and petrol is that we will run out sometime in the current century. But the objective is we just can't keep burning this because of the pollution. We are literally burning the oxygen that we breathe, something that nobody is talking about, or the belching of tremendous amounts of heat into the atmosphere. Again, something nobody is talking about. A full 80% of the energy that is burned in an electrical power plant or in your engine, in your automobile, a full 80% goes into heat directly into the environment. One last point, people have been contributing money. Matt Damon is a great guy, my favorite actor, and he has a program for drilling wells around the world, but many of these wells dry up within the first year. So it leaves people still without water, and it does not solve the energy problem. So what I am proposing is something I invented many years ago. I call it the McCanny Wing Generator. It is now patent pending, trademarked, we have a corporation built, all of the legal entities are in place to put this into market. I've built prototypes, we've test proven them in remote locations, also operating and directly powering the water generators, atmospheric water generators that literally extract water from the air, of which we have determined there is a tremendous abundance of water. Also recently, the vision of a group of people who initiated the Water Abundance X Prize powered by Tata Group and Australian Aid. This is a competition for exactly what I have been doing, uh, combining energy with water extraction from the atmosphere to have a system that will use renewable energy only and produce water from the atmosphere for for less than two cents per liter. This is a very demanding goal. I've had the good fortune of being selected to be one of the five finalists in this competition, and this coming July, 
My company, JMCC Wing LLC, a Delaware-based corporation, will be staging the full-scale model, which will be ready for manufacturing mass production for the world market. You can help with this effort in three ways. By donating, by telling investors, because it's going to take a lot of money to bring this to manufacturing and to market, and then tell your friends. Use the social media uh, buttons on this page to tell everybody you know. So this is a success, and this is, won't only be a success for you and me, but for the poor people in the world who literally don't have a voice, don't have electricity, water, or food. Thank you very much.